Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel, Aromatic. Today, as you could have guessed, I'm going to be showing you guys some Google Slides tricks. So right now I'm on my a Google Slides presentation I made for you guys and I'm going to show you some awesome tricks that I learned from YouTube and that I figured out myself. So this is probably familiar to a lot of you, but if it is not, these are some cool things you can do with text boxes. You can obviously write something down. And something really cool you can do is add a fill color so you can make it a different color. So you come here, you go up there, and when you hover your cursor over it, it's gonna say fill color, and you can choose a color. So something that is really cool is also, you can also add gradients. So gradients is basically when it's lighter on one side and dark, darker on the other side, kind of like an ombre, but with the same color. So now, since I added my fill color as pink, and you can also add a border color. I'm gonna add green, and since you can't really see the border, I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. By making it thicker is next to the border color, it's border weight, and you can choose. And also, I'm going to add a nice design to the border by going next to border weight to border dash. Maybe some dashes or dots, whatever I want. So this, this trick is about adding an image. So you can add image by going here to insert image and you can upload from com your computer. You can search the web and you can take photos from your drive, from Google Photos, by URL, or with the, your camera. So I'm gonna search the web for a flower. So I'll take that one, insert. And then once you have your photo, you can take it to where you want. And you can also crop it by double clicking on it or by pressing it and going to crop image up there. So I'm just gonna crop mine a little bit. Now that I've moved it to where I want and I've cropped it to how I want, I'm gonna go next to the crop button up here with to the little arrow, which is gonna say mask image. Again, when you hover your cursor on top of it. So when I press that, I can go to shapes and I can make the image, the um, shape of one of these cool arrows, callouts, equations, anything really here. So I can make it an arrow. Um, maybe that, That's I love that actually. And just like with the text boxes, you can add a border color right up here, just like where it was for the, when you press on the image, right where it was for the border. I mean, for the text image. And maybe red, add some border weight, and you can make it dots or whatever you want. So something that's also cool is that you can go to format options. When you press on the image, up right up here, format options, and you can play around with these awesome things and explore. There's recolor, which I thought was cool. You can make the image a different hue. I'm just gonna keep it with the normal one for right now, but that's always really cool. And every image looks better with something else, so um, make sure you explore with every image that you add in Google Slides. Our next trick is linking to specific slides, which is less complicated, of course. You are gonna highlight what you want to link, and you're gonna go to insert and you're going to go to link and you might have to scroll down a bit and instead of pasting a link you are going to press slides in this presentation and you can literally choose any slide so i'm going to go to slide one and apply so now when i press on it it's going to say slide one google slides tricks and it's going to take me there which is really cool because if you have long presentations, if you want to go back to a particularly important slide, that's really helpful. So next is with a video. So you go to insert and insert video. Now you can search on YouTube um, by URL or if you have a video in Google Drive. So 
I'm going to search by URL. And there's one of my other videos. Make sure to watch that video too. And I'm going to select it. And it's going to add my video to my slide. And just like in the image, you can move it to where you want, make it bigger. And if you're not there already, you're going to press format options when you're when you've clicked on the video. And you're going to go to video playback. You can do awesome things like autoplay when presenting and mute audio so that it's only visuals. But this is cool. You can kind of edit the video. So when you want it to start and when you want it to end. So I want it to stop at 14 seconds. So it's not too long for the audience when you present your presentation. So now if you if we watch the video, it's only going to go till there to 14 seconds. There. Now, our next trick, which isn't really a trick, but it's cool things you can add to your presentation are cool inserts. So insert has a lot of different things that you could add. And some cool things that I like to do is word art, where you could add basically, and you can move it up, and you can change the, the fill color, purple, I like that. And you can add a border. Maybe if you want to keep it black, the border. Or if you want to make it the same color. And you can add border weight and border designs. And just like with our images, we can go to format options and do, you can do your drop shadow, which is cool, which I really like. And you can make it a cool angle a different color and your reflection which is cool with word art however you think it's gonna look awesome now out of the shapes options they're really cool shapes so you go to insert and shapes um, sometimes I like to go to shapes just to check if I want an image of something maybe I can just find a shape so a smiley face shape a stop sign shape so I always like to check for shapes before I insert image so that so that it might show up there. So some cool thing I found is a thought bubble. Instead of searching an image for that, you could just go to shapes, which is cool, and make it transparent, maybe like that, maybe add border weight, do something cool with it. You can make it connect the dots actually. Now, this is with insert lines. So you could come here, and you could select the line or you could go to insert lines and you could add cool things. I'm going to do a curve and I'm gonna press down on my mouse pad. And when I double tapped on it, it showed up like this so I could add, add the color of the line which is gonna be in line color in this case. And I could add cool colors. This is gonna be line weight, just like the border weight icon. And you can add how thick you want your line to be. Now this is with insert shapes callout. So if you're making a comic, you go to insert shape and callouts are really cool because they have speech bubbles and some awesome, really cool shapes. So that's something that really is handy when writing comics and stuff and you can make it however you want. Now our next slide is cool things with arrows. I like to do it is insert, shape, and arrows, and you can choose whichever arrow you want. They're all really different, so I'll choose that. And you can draw how big you want it to be, how small, and you can make it wider, shorter. You can move it to wherever you want, of course. And you can take this little thing on top and turn it when you tap on the arrow. You can make it whatever color you want. Now, press the three dots here. As you see, format options doesn't show up here. So press the three dots for more. And if it does show up for you, that's perfect. Now, when more comes, it's going to say format options. So you're going to press that. And if you wanted to flip it so that it can look like that, if you 
that's where you can find that. And you can, there are all these different types of flips, which is good. And you can also write on arrows by clicking them, but then double tapping with two fingers and finding this page here, and then go to edit text. And of course you can always change the shape to whichever one you like, edit text, and I can write on it. And another way you can add it is going to select a line or insert line and choosing arrow, which is cool because it's kind of like that and it's a little bit different. And yeah, you can change it to whichever color you want. You can make different colors, uh, format options. You can rotate. So these are more, these arrows are thinner and maybe easier to use and more straightforward. So our next trick and also our last is something that's kind of more confusing, but it's really cool. So you can edit the theme, which if you don't know is something cool that you can add to your slideshow. And in mine, the theme is this purple, like this theme is this purple, this one. But in, with this trick, you can edit the theme to add what you want. And if you haven't noticed, I added this aromatic right here that I can't change because it's in the theme. I mean, I can't change it from here because I added it to the theme. So to do that, you're gonna go to slide, then go down to edit master. And here I have my theme. And here it's gonna, the ones are gonna show up outlined in yellow of which, um, which layout they're using. So this is basically the theme that all of them are using. And I added this aromatic to all of them. So if you haven't noticed, there was an aromatic on top of each page. Now, if I press that, these are different layouts that you have in the theme. So the first one is that. Um, and you can really change things and add cool images to the theme. So I'm just gonna go back to the master to show you. You can go to insert image, search the web, and I can add that same photo of a flower. Change things around and edit my theme. Edit my that. Here, just like our other images in the slide, it has format options too. So you can recolor, you can recolor it. Maybe this time add stuff something like that. So if I do that, my slides have that in them now. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed and remember to hit that subscribe button, like and share. And also start using Google Slides more because these tricks are awesome. Make sure you experiment with them and have fun. Thanks for watching and bye.